what to talk about dr zaidi you know knowing her is i consider it to be one of my achievements actually it's very hard to uh, come in contact with uh, such people who actually think globally you know it's very easy to talk globally thinking about it and actually trying to do something about it conducting such seminars such talk shows is very important the reason behind is uh, see i have been conducting this show called uh, career couch with shubhankar so career and education is linked right but education is not actually completely about career so i would rather focus on that quality education or quality of education which is very important i think and is the basic i think need to understand all the sdgs because if you are ignorant towards uh, the sustainable development goals you cannot actually attain it you cannot contribute in it that is the major issue and that is something i think uh, we all better understand that uh, see for the climate let's talk about climate change or poverty or or any you know there are thousands of things thousands of concerns and every new concern is you know it's it's rising day by day the thing is that uh, we have actually uh, somehow uh, we have just sucked up to the nature i'm sorry but this is actually what we are continuously doing education doesn't mean it you know we are being literate towards development and the development that is like we are completely blindfolded about being very uh, selfish towards development and this selfish act is not going to help us in any way this is something what we need to understand such talk shows yes there are you know we are think tanks who have been always contributing towards it we think about it that what should we do to understand the water crisis so to understand water crisis we need to be educated to accept the fact that yes water crisis is looking us in the eye once we accept it we'll start finding some solutions to it and we have to actively do it so there are two concerns which we have to address very fast you know was first thing is ignorant being ignorant as a government and being ignorant as people being ignorant as government will naturally impact the policies which are you know which is not going to help us in any way we can end up talking about it but we won't be able to create policies but to create a policy the very first thing is that to understand it to understand the problem to the very grassroots level and having that intent to change it that is the quality education that i think should be there this is the basic education education is not about reading a book or collecting a data but rather trying to research a way how to attain that goal what we have actually kept it it cannot be forever but there has to be a a, a time limit to it when we have to be you know we have to be overactive uh, towards finding a solution in it similarly i was uh, just reading a bit about hope hope with a w so fantastic in fact if i even pronounce it as a hope it's a wonderful initiative and i think uh, such initiatives should be applauded uh, coming from a country like india i feel that uh, you know there are there are changes you know uh, big changes that needs to be made but at the same time again i'm talking about that what we as a world and as a country have been doing is all the education meant so far is all about literacy we are collecting data reading those data but we are not being uh, research oriented towards it and if we are not research oriented towards it the education is not delivering any solution so i again would say there is a big difference between literacy and education literate yes we are educated we need to be working a little bit more on towards it so that acceptance in itself will make us more educated yes it's good you know we have united nations organization we have a lot of organizations working towards it the un in itself has a lot of divisions and departments you know to uh, address different concerns at grassroots level but again we need a lot of dr zaidis and lot of people who actually you know want to contribute in it not only from the soul but actively trying to do something about it to 
know actively again to you know uh, i i think the big thing uh, what we have learnt in the covid era is that in while in covid we had a lot of data right some were saying that you know you you need to uh, we had we had those researches coming up for the virus there were different research a lot of vaccines were being produced and everyone every government every country was patting their own back that they have done something real sustainable uh, something really great but the fact remains is that we badly failed we badly failed because covid exists we are still in between covid and the fact is that we have all system running towards again those if you remember i'm sorry i'm 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 being uh, i'm trying to summarize it at, as soon as as uh, short as possible because the time is short and i want to hear the lot of other wonderful speakers out there so uh, while during the covid while the lockdown i think the entire globe was shut down and one thing we were being happy about is that at least we are giving some time to the nature to come to its course to you know to revive itself but the speed the, the nature revived we exploited it faster in the next you know once it opened and we are again back to track so now again we are concerned about you know uh, the receding uh, uh, our ice structure over there we are still concerned about uh, the green gas uh, level we are still concerned about the black holes and we are still concerned about the lot more viruses that are looking us in the eye and what exactly we are doing towards it we need such you know uh, such sessions and such sessions has to be heard at the government level at the policy making level once we attend that we do it trust me automatically each and every goal shall become sustainable and shall be attainable as well so that is it i think this is the quality of education i am expecting that entire globe to understand and you know accept it keeping all the political differences all the religious differences all the other any differences aside we need to grow as a human being we need to be educated as a human being we need to think globally contribute as a global person contribute as a global citizen so that is where actually a quality education would do some good in attaining sdgs the sustainable development goals so i'll uh, i think i'll rest my case over here and uh, over to you ariba you have been conducting this session <laughs> wonderfully well and i again i thank uh, please convey my thanks to all the other speakers and the guests who are already here who have found the you know some this uh, is, uh, some time out of their such busy schedule so and they have contributed towards you know listening to the uh, to the other speakers thank you so much everyone thank you for letting me speak on this panel and i'm so honored and i uh, really thank to uh, dr zaidi for giving me this opportunity again and again and i hope that i can be any help to you thank you